Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're gonna be going over five, this is 10, five beginner tips that I wish I knew. Even if you're a veteran, these may help you. If you guys wanna have early access to my videos, that way you're not forced to wait days to watch the video, join my Patreon, link description below, and you can get access to my early access content. Also, I do have a video in early access right now. It is a monster card guide. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. It's a guide for every single character, which stat should go with which character in every single slot. You also have the ability to decide and suggest videos, or maybe you just wanna be featured in my videos. If you wanna be part of my gameplays, once again, Patreon down below, it's where you wanna go. Once we reach our goal on Patreon, we will have streams every single day. I'm looking forward to that. You're looking forward to that. Let's reach that goal. All right, so the first thing, skills freeze time. Whenever you use an ability in Grand Chase, it usually delays players and monsters within the range of your character. This is very, very useful when it comes to PvP, very, very useful when it comes to mobs, when it comes to fighting bosses. You can time them out of using abilities, you can make it so it registers late, you can have projectiles come at you later. Like there's a lot you can do to manipulate some of these bosses. Even if it's bosses that move around a lot, you can still freeze them so that they sit still while you're using your ability. Not every monster can be frozen, remember that, but try it out, test it, see which ones can, and it's a very huge difference. I think most of the time though, you have to play solo in order to get the freezes, but it still does happen if your teammates are not close to you and they show up later. Usually you do have to be solo though, but I, but I definitely seen it happen when teammates are there. You have to be careful though. You don't wanna delay a boss and then when you're done with your move, his move starts and then you just die because he hits you with the move that you delayed. Try it, get used to it. Really use the delay and the invincibility frames from your skill to get that edge, not just in PVP, but also in PVE. The second tip is for practice mode. You can go to practice mode. Practice mode is located right under the servers. You can go to practice mode and you can try out a character and see if you like it without actually having to waste time leveling the character up. Even if you're a veteran, you might not have played some of these characters. Well, I wanna play Ryan, what is he like? Okay, well, he gets all these abilities at level 34. Okay, uh, a lot of his abilities are higher level. I don't really wanna have a, I don't really wanna play him and have no abilities until he's level 30 or 40. Uh, let me try somebody else. That's a very easy way to see how much your character can engage with you when you're leveling them up. You can also see if you like their skills. You can also see their jobs and, and try it out. Practice mode is a very, very good way to see if you like a character before you try it. A bonus tip, if you have Arme in your game, your mana goes up faster. That's so this is, this is my mana regain without Arme, okay? That's what it looks like without Arme. Pretty slow, pretty sluggish, whatever. This is our mana gain with Arme. Way faster, way quicker. I'm not even touching anything. It's, she's just in the game. So whenever you wanna try out new moves and you don't wanna sit there and wait for a really, really long time, just put Arme in the game and you can try out your moves back to back to back. This next tip is for missions especially job missions. Whenever something says clear, you have to end the dungeon. You have to beat the boss. Whenever it says experience it, you can go in there, die, and you can complete the mission without actually having to kill one single monster. As long as it says experience this dungeon, you can go in there, die, collect the reward without even actually having to do any work at all. The next tip that I wanna give you is when you are soloing dungeons, they're actually easier than if you are partying with players and it goes up with two players, three players, four players. The monsters become more difficult to kill because of the fact that you have more teammates. If you want an easier time clearing the dungeons, you just go by yourself. If you don't care how long things take to die, then go with a team. Last but not least, I wanna explain the hero collection with you guys. You come down here, you click this little three bar thing, and you go over to the hero collection. What is the hero collection? The hero collection, gives you bonuses to every character based off if you have their jobs. So these are the bonuses that I have. Imagine if I have all the jobs. I have so many bonuses. Liar, for instance, gives us 1% crit chance and 20 damage. This is then another 1% with 30 damage. This is another with 40, another with 50. You get, I got 180 attack damage because I have jobs done. I also get crit chance and crit damage like that. So you can buff your character to insanity if you just get, unlock more jobs. That's all, just unlock more jobs. You don't need to have, you don't need to have cash. The cash is changed to just spending time getting jobs. Although you can buy cash missions which then, you know, get you your jobs faster. But you still gotta level the character. 
Imagine 85. Armor and weapon are stacked. Level 17 plus weapon. Your properties are insane. Your monster cards are insane. And you got jobs completed. You are going to be tanky. You are going to hit like a truck. You are going to be insane. So I hope this helped you guys. Once again, this is geared towards beginners, but I know some of you veterans may not have known. And I hope it helped you guys. Remember, if you guys want early access to my content, Patreon link down below. I do have a video in early access right now. It's a video that you guys have been asking for for a while now. Which properties are best with which character? If you want to be able to watch it early, link in the description below. Join the Patreon and get early access to my content. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, you'll always say, thank you for what? Popping often. We'll often.